Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I kind of just want to make kind of a chill laid back video where I'm showing off the progress of the uh, Bloons Tower Defense game that I'm recreating in the Unity game engine. Of course many of you may be familiar with the classic Flash game Bloons Tower Defense which came out back in 2007. And so now that Flash is essentially dead I thought it would be a cool idea for me to recreate you know one of my favorite flash games using the unity game engine so i've been working on this project for the past couple months just kind of in my free time i've made some other videos on this channel about this game um, just kind of talking about the progress of what i've done so far as well as making kind of some tutorial videos to show you how i'm doing some of the cool things um, in the game engine. But today I kind of just wanted to give sort of a progress update uh, because I'm coming pretty close to the end of development. This is something that I'm just really trying to wrap up before I dive really deep into Unity ECS content um, because I'm going to be doing a lot of that in the coming weeks and months. Um, but I think it's important for me that I just kind of finish what I started with this project um, because I am just oh so close. And before we get into it, I'd just like to remind you that the Unity Asset Store still has their Lunar New Year sale going on right now. It's one of these humble bundle type sales where there's kind of like different tiers of things that you can buy. Um, so you can get like a, a couple asset packs for $10. And then, you know, if you step up to the next level at $20, then you get all those asset packs uh, plus the ones at the $10 level. There's a lot of really cool asset packs and some useful tools in there as well. Uh, so go check it out using the links in the description below. And just to remind you, that is going to be an affiliate link. So if you do end up purchasing something through there, um, not only are you going to be able to save up to hundreds of dollars on some um, you know, really cool and useful assets, but you're also going to be supporting the Turbo Mix Games YouTube channel. And as always, make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy today's video, and of course, stay subscribed to the channel for lots more content about video game development. Of course, if you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can always leave those down in the comment section below. Okay, so let's jump on into the game here. So you'll see that I've added in just kind of a basic little main menu. Uh, right now, the More Games and Bloons World buttons do not do anything. Um, and you'll kind of notice this as I go along, basically. I have the content built out in the game, but uh, there's not necessarily that like final level of polish quite yet. So again, this is just a basic, simple main menu. If we hit New Game, we do get this dialog box popping up at the bottom, um, just welcoming us to the Bloons Tower Defense games. Um, after a couple seconds, it'll just disappear. Um, I do want to eventually make that so it fades out. So anyways, now that we are um, actually in the game, you'll see that... Um, we do have the options for all these towers. I have implemented all of them, um, but you know, if we click on something that's pretty, pretty expensive, like the Super Monkey, you click on it and we get a little uh, warning at the bottom saying that we do not have enough money. Um, however, we do have enough money, of course, for uh, a nice dart tower. So let's go ahead and um, we'll just put it in here. Um, and then we can go ahead and start the round. Again, I still do have um, all these upgrades available. I've made a couple other videos on the channel about that. Um, another mechanic that I've implemented is the selling mechanic. So we can actually sell a tower for 80% essentially of what we invested uh, into it. We put down the tack tower just so those things don't get away. So the sell for, it's basically 80% of how much the tower costs plus any upgrades. So if we were to say purchase the extra range upgrade um, for the tack tower, which you know the, this is a huge range for the tack tower, um, so I do have to have a little bit of balance and tweaking in here, but you'll see that we can now sell the tower for $520. Anyways, I've increased the amount of money that we have so I can kind of show off some of these other towers. Uh, so of course we have the ice tower, so we can put the ice tower in here. And you'll see that when we press play, the ice tower um, is actually going to, every couple seconds, it's going to freeze the balloons within a speci specific radius. Um, again, I kind of need to do some tweaks on the, the actual radius. Um, also, I have the bomb tower. So the bomb tower shoots bombs out at balloons. And of course, um, uh, tacks cannot pop frozen balloons, like tacks and darts. Um, however, bombs can pop frozen balloons. Again, I don't necessarily have any kind of visual representation of a balloon being frozen or not. Um, but you'll see if I do put down, say, the dart tower here, when a balloon is frozen, um, the, the dart tower will still try and throw a dart um, at the frozen balloon, but it doesn't actually pop the balloon. Um, and then moving along, the final one that I have is, of course, a fun one to watch, the super monkey. 
So we can go ahead and do that. Um, we'll start the next round here. We'll see if we can get the super monkey to start firing at some balloons. And so you can see as we get a couple rounds deeper, the um, super monkey tower is still just making quick work of all these balloons. Um, so obviously the super monkey tower is an excellent tower to have if you are able to um, actually build up to the point where you can afford a super monkey tower. Now you'll notice that between each of the rounds you'll see that we kind of have this like little flavor text pop up here. And so right now I just want to give a huge shout out to the official balloons wiki because um, it lists out basically all the official um, kind of pre-round comments for every single round for I mean, all of the Bloons games, but of course the only one that I care about is the Bloons Tower Defense one. Um, but this just made it super extremely easy for me to create all the rounds. Um, not only because it has all the pre-round text, but it also has all the balloon contents for every single level um, again in all the balloons games and unfortunately it doesn't give me like super granular detail um, Saying you know like oh four red balloons go and then five blue balloons go and then the rest of the red balloons go But this is just good to give me kind of like a general idea of sort of the the general contents of the balloons within a level and then so kind of using the information on about the balloon contents for each level as well as kind of the pre-round text, I was able to create using scriptable objects again, um, 50 different rounds using basically the exact same values for everything um, as the original game. So you'll see that when we go to round one here, you see that it's going to be spawning 12 red balloons. Um, and then right now I put just kind of a time between balloons of 1.5 seconds and then we have this pre-round comment. This is where it says, you know, welcome to Bloons Tower Defense and so on. Uh, you'll see that if we go to round two, then we kind of have this flavor text. You'll see that we now have 25 red balloons spawning and I uh, made these a little bit closer together just so um, it starts getting a little bit more progressively difficult as you go along. And you'll see round three, this is where we start to introduce blue balloons. Coming down to round six, you'll see that the pre-round comment kind of talks about green balloons, and then we're going to spawn 15 green balloons. And then, you know, as we get deeper and deeper to say like level 35, then now we have like 85 greens and 117 yellow balloons. So again, huge shout out to the Bloons Tower Defense Wiki, so I could basically just um, kind of create these rounds pretty easily. It still kind of took me about an hour of just you know, mostly copy and pasting and entering all of these values. Um, but it was just really easy for me. I didn't necessarily have to worry about um, balance in that sense. And so anyways, I'm still gonna do a little bit more kind of balancing and tweaking on this, but I'm pretty close to being at the point where um, I can kind of give this to you all to play and play test and find as many bugs as possible as you can in this. Um, so I can kind of clean those up and then of course add in some of the extra kind of effects and level of polish just to make this a fully complete game. Um, because again, I just want to really wrap this project up before I move into some cool things like ECS. So anyways, those are pretty much the major things that I've added into the Bloons Tower Defense clone that I'm recreating in the Unity game engine. Um, again, just because of the way that I structured my code and everything like that, making all this content was extremely easy. I basically just had to, you know, make the things that were different between each things, um, such as, you know, for the towers, I of course had to make different little icons for each of those. Um, but a lot of the things as far as like upgrades go was really easy for me to do. I basically just created a new scriptable object for that upgrade and then assigned those scriptable objects to the tower upgrades. And because I'm using interfaces and all that and um, you know, the existing classes just implemented those interfaces. Well, the tower upgrades just worked for the new towers. And once again, a huge shout out to the Bloons Tower Defense Wiki for basically listing out all the uh, values for um, each of the individual rounds. So I didn't have to kind of like guess about, you know, how many balloons are being spawned on each round just by playing through it myself. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about video game development. As always, if you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, you can leave those down in the comment section below. But I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.